I don't think so. I don't think it was really people thinking about doing solo projects. I know. I know that. I was never. I was never thinking I'd love to do. I always wanted to be in a great rock and roll band. You know, that's really what, what I really wanted to do. You know, as opposed to being a solo artist, I always wanted to be in a great rock band, and I kind of still do in a way. You know. And. Uh, but it was. Um, you know, the ego thing was. I don't. I don't think that. Um, I don't think that anybody in, within the band was really crazily out of control. I think everything. Everything was kind of out of control because it was a very. It was a very strange thing that happened to us. It was a true phenomenon, you know. And I think that really more than anything, it was the. Um, you know, the, the personalities within the band that really. It was just it wasn't destined to go the distance, you know. Really. Um, and, uh, yeah, and it also really depends on who you talk to as well, you know. Um, I, I was, more than anything, I was really emotionally kind of, um, I was very angry, you know, really about the fact that the band wasn't going to last, you know, because it was like, it, was cle it clearly wasn't going to last, you know. And I was, I was, it was very upsetting. It, it made me very, very kind of, even angry, but kind of like, I couldn't understand why some of the other, you know, uh, people in the band didn't realize how important or how, how, what an amazing thing it was that we were doing, you know, and how incredible it was, you know, and, um, you know, so it was just, uh, it was it was a difficult time, you know. But also, I think it's more than anything. It's men together, men in their twenties together. You know, yeah. we don't have great communication skills till sometimes never, but maybe till you're forty, you think, oh, maybe I should, maybe I, maybe I could actually talk this through with somebody, you know. Or that's really more than anything. I think that that's what happens with most, you know, male-dominated bands is the mm -hmm. fact that it's, you know, you're, you know, you're kind of. Uh, you basically all want to want to get to the same place, but your methodology is very different. You know, for example, I always used to lock horns with a drummer. You know, and he's not a bad person. You know, but it was just like that. That was who I kind of locked horns with, and uh, and um, you know, but his he was he was very dedicated as well. You know, wanted to get to the same point, but his way of getting there was you know very very different from mine. You know, and it was like one of those things where maybe maybe if you have a you know, an on the road shrink, you could you could fi you could figure out stuff as you go along, as opposed to letting things get out of hand. You know, but it's all it's all a long time ago now. It's all like twenty five years ago or something. You know?